What do you think of as you watch a documentary on your life? We had the director, Robert Alexander, in studio a couple weeks ago. He was fascinating in, in, in his perspective about putting this together. What are, what are your thoughts on it? You know, Robert did a good job. I'm programmed to, once something happens, you put it in the file and you move on. So he did a great job of asking me certain questions and bringing certain things out and helping me remember certain stories. Uh, I think he did a great job. It's, you know, I don't really get to show my vulnerability a lot. So a couple of times I show how vulnerable I am. I, I always like to show my thought process and how I thought. Like I would have some people come to me and say, is it true after you lose a game you tear your house up? That's absolutely true. I wish I had the window contract in Beverly Hills number because, uh, you know, me and him was on speed dial. He'd be like, Shaq, I already know you missed, you know, 12 out of 29 free throws. Which window is it? It's the same kitchen window. All right. I'm going to order like, you know. Come on. Like that was my. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like, because I would like to go crazy because I don't like to let people down. I don't like to let my family down. I don't like to let the fans down. I don't like to let the city down. And you know how it is in the NBA. Like that, those one games you can end up playing Utah, which we did in those years, and we got swept. Or you can end up playing San Antonio Sacramento, who I'd rather play. You know, it was uh, interesting that during our championship years, we kind of stayed away from Utah. But when I first got there, Utah was the only team that would, like, sweep us. So we kind of wanted to stay away from them. But so I didn't like letting people down. So I felt like I let people down and had to release that energy. So did you what, – what footage have you seen from the doc where it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot that happened? Did that ha- – anything like well, that? mostly, uh, you know, mostly all of it. You know, especially, you know, stories growing up as a child – because, again, you know, my father was a drill sergeant. So when you do something, you get it done, and then you move on. That's why every time I won a championship, I would have to come home the next day. Like, we celebrate and do that, but I had to come home the next day. It was ritual. And that little MVP ball trophy, and I had to give it to him and get back on the plane. He said, okay, have fun for the summer. Uh, get ready. See if you can get another one. And that was it. Shaquille O'Neal here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. There's an interesting uh, part in tonight's episode, Shaq, that I saw where, you know, you're winning with Kobe and you're winning with the Lakers and you're, you know, you're, you've got multiple rings now and three MVP uh, awards from the uh, NBA Finals in a row. And then they cut to Penny Hardaway, your former Magic teammate, saying he essentially he was jealous saying then when he was watching you after leaving Orlando, going to L.A. and do that, he said, that should have been me. What did you think of when you hear, and, when you hear that, Shaq? And I, I believe that. Penny was Kobe before Kobe. And a lot of people, as great as Kobe was, Kobe, first two years, he had to get adjusted. Penny came in great. You know, when Penny came, I think we made it to the finals. It's not that first year, the second year. Penny was great. I, I kind of felt his pain. And the business of basketball is a tricky thing. You got the business of basketball, you got egos. I felt we could have definitely got one or two. I was telling the guys last night because they asked me, I said, I said, uh, us winning three in a row in Orlando, I don't know because it's a system thing. The triangle is an intricate system that not a lot of people understand. So as good as we were, I think the system made us even better. In Orlando, when you're running the traditional offense, the floppy and the pick and roll and all that, a lot of things can go wrong when you run those type of offense. But the triangle, when you do something so consistent, it's kind of hard to stop. So, uh, again, I, I think Penny and I could have got one or two, but three in a row, I don't know about that. Mm. And, I mean, just seeing you, I mean, we have a photograph on the screen. I mean, just you, you're a baby, man, back in Orlando. I mean, it's, you You guys could have grown old together, pretty much. Yeah, you we know? could have, but listen, when you, I've always tried to take advantage of opportunities, and I knew I was, you know, emerging as one of the best centers in the league, and, and the game was changing, the money was changing, and you know, I always think Jawan Howard and Alonzo Mourning, because I don't, I really didn't like to get to the money game. I always relied on what my agent said I can get. Never really got into it. But when Juwan signed for 110 or 115 and then Alonzo signed, I was like, well, I am a little bit better. No disrespect to those guys. My numbers are higher than those guys. I am a little bit better. So you're going to have to pay me more. So we went to the Orlando, and they weren't interested. And then Mr. Jerry West came to the hotel that day and showed me a piece of paper that had so many zeros on it, Rich. 
<laughs> my face is gonna fall off. <laughs> all, I saw was, all I saw was one twenty zero comma zero 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 comma zero 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 comma zero 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 comma zero zero. I was like, I'll sign, I'll sign, I'll sign. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I was comfortable signing because whenever we lost in Orlando, I was in L.A. the next day, you know, working on movies, working on albums, mm -hmm. just hanging out. I didn't want to be in Orlando uh, versus being in, you know, sunny California. So I already had a house out there. I knew people out there. I knew the spots. There was a spot called Sports Club L.A., which is now Equinox or Sepulveda. I used to work out. I used to go to all my restaurants, Jerry's Deli on Sunset. Used to hang out on you know Manhattan Beach, go to the courts and play with the kids. So I was already familiar with Los Angeles. So when I signed it, I was like, you know, I'm just going to my, I'm just going to make my summer home into my permanent home, and turn my permanent home into my summer home. And it worked out very well. You know, when when you grow up with a drill sergeant, my father would always say, don't make a choice, make a decision. Mm. And mm -hmm. you live with that decision. Yeah, I had choices: stay with Orlando or go to L.A. I made the decision to go to L.A. And it was the right decision. It had to be the right decision because if I went there and me and Kobe wouldn't have won any, it was, you know, guys would guys would really be talking about the so-called beef Kobe and I had. Now, that's why I always laugh at people. Oh, you and Kobe, you didn't get along. Well, we got along enough to win three out of four. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that's 75%. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.